This is the hydrogen peroxide pool follow-up and Padma's helping. Really, she's just chewing on sticks hmm. because she doesn't want to go in the pool. So I just wanted to do a quick follow-up about the hydrogen peroxide pool. Oh, there's another dog butt, sorry. Um, so it took a few days. If you recall from the first video, I put in uh, three gallons of the Bacwasil oxidizer uh, because we have a 30,000 gallon pool. So I need, when I'm opening it, a gallon of oxidizer per 10,000 gallons. So we did that and we let it run uh, overnight. And then the next day we scrubbed the sides and skimmed the pool and then put in um, three containers of the flocculent because we needed to get the algae to coagulate and fall to the bottom so that we could vacuum it in a few days. So when you do that, you have to turn the filter off and let the flocculant sit for about 48 hours. Um, it says 24 to 48, 48 is better uh, because you get more of the junk at the bottom, which makes it easier to vacuum. And then, so we let it sit for two days and then uh, went out and vacuumed <clears throat> and got most of the stuff off of the bottom, which is great. Turns the filter back on and then put in um, the Bacwasil sanitizer and those are half gallons. So I still put three in, you put in a half gallon per 10,000 gallons. I only do this when I'm opening, uh, not for maintenance, uh, but it just helps get all of the algae and everything out of the pool. And then uh, we did that and ran it on filter overnight. And then the next day I checked the chemicals um, using the Bacwasil test strips, which I have right here. Um, it's backwards, which is super fun. So these are the, uh, <clears throat> the lovely guidelines. Um, and the pH and alkalinity were both low, which is typical when I open the pool uh, every year. So then what I did was put in, I put in baking soda and I do about one and a half pounds. I take that back. Maintenance is one and a half pounds per 10,000 gallons. When I first put it in, it's about, let's see, I put three bags in and they're each three pounds. So um, I did about three pounds per 10,000 gallons uh, to get the alkaline and pH uh, the way they needed to be because they were both very low. And then uh, that also helps clear up the water because a lot of times when you put the flocculin in, you can get all the junk off the bottom but um, it's still cloudy. And so change in alkalinity and pH uh, helps clear up the water along with backwashing and running the filter. So uh, the next day, um, so when I put that in, we let it run overnight and the next day we backwashed and then for about a minute um, until the water was clear in the little Ball. Uh, we have a sand filter that we use um, so you can use with a hydrogen peroxide pool you can use a traditional sand filter we put the glass beads in a few years ago instead because those are more effective and they last a lot longer than the sand but it's the same filter so we put the um, I ran the backwash and then after about a minute run the filter for a good minute until the water is very clear and then just turn it back on recirculate and that cleared it up uh, the next day it was great and now you can see everything <laughs> and the alkaline and pH are great. Um, it has now been, I think, 10 days since we took the pool cover off and I haven't had to put in more of the oxidizer or sanitizer yet, but typically I'll keep checking it. It's usually about two weeks from the time I open it that I then have to start regular maintenance, which I then put um, every week I put in one gallon of oxidizer on one night. Uh, let's just pick Sunday. It just kind of depends on when I start noticing that it's low. <clears throat> so I put in a gallon of that, run it on recirculate overnight, and then the next night I put in a half gallon of sanitizer and that's it. Um, I do usually check it maybe once or twice a week to make sure the alkalinity and pH aren't off and if they are then it's usually that they've gotten low. Um, it all depends on rain and kids and sunscreen and everything else. But if it gets low, then I usually put baking soda in um, or borax. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so this is what it looks like now. And I don't know where Padma has gone. 
she is probably, oh, there's another dog. See, there's Jax. I think, oh, there's Gino. And Padma is somewhere. What are you munching on? She has found something gross to eat. Say hi. She said, I am not happy about this. She's hoping I will not throw her in the pool. And I won't, because that's mean. But she just had a bath. So maybe another day, much to her dismay. She wants to go chew on things like baby rabbits. All right, say bye. She says, let me down. Okay, I hope that helped uh, when it comes to hydrogen peroxide. Um, as you can see, the pool is very clear and there is Jerry, our pool vacuum. Uh, the kids named him. I don't remember why, but that's his name. Uh, if you have any questions or if you'd like uh, to pick my brain about converting to a hydrogen peroxide pool or why I chose to do this, uh, please just comment below or DM me. Uh, pool might be the best option. <laughs> and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Have a great day.